So a couple weeks back, we did F.U. Me by Gunna, so it's only fitting that we do the next track, Rodeo Drive. The tempo for this one is 134 beats per minute, and the track is produced by Angelo Ferraro and Florian Flo Unganga. So we're gonna start off with the main chord progression that we hear throughout the entire track. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Logic's Steinway Grand Piano, and let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. That's the main chord progression for the entire track. I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate that over one octave. So that piano is gonna be sort of pushed back in the background, so it's gonna bring down the volume a bit here. Then we're gonna go duplicate that up. And we're gonna put in a top line on top of it. It's really just one note. Next, let's add in some textures. I'm gonna create a new software instrument track. I'm gonna bring in Logic's Alchemy, and we're gonna go over to Soundscapes, and we'll go to the Accelerating Particles preset. I'm just gonna copy down this pattern right here, and this is what it sounds like. Just duplicate, sorry, let's just push this up a couple octaves. Got some of the low end here. Next, let's go and duplicate this track and we'll bring in another texture just to fill this out and give it that sort of atmospheric vibe that we hear in the original track. So I'm gonna open up Alchemy once again and I'm gonna go over to Pads and this time we're gonna bring in a preset called Analog Silk. We just gotta copy down that MIDI and this is what it sounds like. And that's really gonna give us that sort of atmospheric vibe that we hear in the original track. Next is going to create a new software instrument track and create the top lead line. So for this, I'm gonna bring in Logic's ES2 synthesizer. We'll start from scratch. We'll do a little sound design work in this one. Next is open up Logic's ES2. And if you notice when I drew in the MIDI, I overlapped the notes right over here. And that's because I wanna have them slide into each other. So for that, I'm gonna go over to Legato. I'm gonna pull up the glide to about 40 milliseconds. Next thing I wanna do here is on oscillator one, I wanna give it that buzziness. So I'm gonna go over to a square wave and I'm gonna pitch it up one octave. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of distortion, but bring the tone all the way bright. Bring a little bit of chorus to soften that up. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring up the release just to make it ring out a little bit longer. All 
All right, then we're gonna open up an EQ and we're just gonna pitch out, pitch out, bring out some of the low ends. Get a really sort of mid-rangey. And then we'll put it in its own space and we'll bring in for that Logix, uh, let's bring in Logix Chroma Verb and we'll just create a space for it on its own. We'll make the wet more than the dry. Next, we're going to layer that top line with another sound. So create a new soft instrument track. And for this one, we'll bring in Logic's Retro Synth. We'll work off of the default setting that loads up. We'll get to the sound design in a moment. All right, so for that sound, we're gonna open up Logic's Retro Synth, and we're gonna change Oscillator 2, or Shape 2, over to just a triangle, and we're only gonna be focusing on Shape 2, and it's gonna sound like this. Give it a little bit of chorus. Bring up the attack a little bit, and let it ring out a little bit longer. Now let's bring in some cellos just to fill out this melody and create a new softer instrument track. And for this, I'm gonna go over to the library. We're gonna go over to Studio Strings, Studio Cellos. We're just gonna copy down the same pattern and it sounds like this. And that's too loud, I wanna push it a little bit back. So I'm gonna go over to my cutoff. Push it back like that. All right, next, let's go ahead and duplicate this cello section and we're gonna bring in a little bit of a lead line that happens in the middle. So open up that strings. I'm just gonna bring up the cutoff a bit. All right, next, let's bring in one more set of strings just to give this string some attack. We'll bring in like a staccato string. We'll go over to our library browser here. We'll go down to Legacy. We'll go to Jam Pack Symphony Orchestra. We'll go to Strings, and we'll go to the staccato bass section right here. We're gonna go ahead and copy down this same pattern. And it sounds like this. Except I don't want it to hit on every single note. So I'm going to just take out this one here, this one here, these, uh, let's take this and this out here. And I'm just hitting M to mute those notes. Once again, we'll use the cutoff to bring it back a bit. Then on top of all this, we need like this plucky sound. So we're gonna go and create a new softer instrument track. We're gonna copy down the same chord pattern. We're gonna go over to our library here. We're gonna go to keys or keyboards. And then we're gonna bring in a keyboard called, uh, I believe it was called Liquid Synth Keys. And it sounds like this. I'm just gonna open up the sampler here and just bring back the decay. Just want to add some attack to this melody. All right, so that's the melody right there. Next, let's go ahead and just select all of these tracks and group them together. Shift Command G. And I'm going to bring up an EQ and I'm going to shape this group of instruments as a whole.
Let's bring in an exciter just to make this a little bit brighter. And once again, we'll bring in Logic Space Designer just to give this whole instrument a nice space. So for this, I'm gonna to go to a large space. We'll go to Warp Spaces. Actually, let's go to an outdoor space and we'll use this one right here. All right, so that's the background melody. Next, let's get to the drums. So for that, let's go ahead and create a new software instrument track. We'll go to user patches. We'll go to drum kits. And I created a drum kit for this remake. Uh, here it is right here, the Rodeo, Rodeo, Rodeo Drive drum kit. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a clap here. Let's go to 32 steps. Get the clap going. Let's get the hi-hat going. A basic two-step. Except on the hats, we need to add in some rolls. Let's go to repeat. Over on the second pattern, we're just going to go ahead. Actually, let's duplicate this over. Go back to 16. Then go to 32, it duplicates that repeat right there. And then we're just gonna add in a little bit of a roll at the end here. All right, let's go ahead and open, add in the open hat. Take that out. And finally, the 808. happens right here. So we'll go over to our quantize here, change that over to 16 triplets and just add in a rule, something like that. And then we just got to add in that reverse intro part, mix it a little bit and we get this. There is the remake to Rodeo Drive by Gunna, remade in Logic Pro. For your Logic users out there, I'm going to go ahead and save this entire session for you. Place it as a downloadable link below this video. If you don't use Logic, I got your back as well. I'm going to go to export all the knee stems, audio stems, and of course, include the drum kit that you heard in this remake. You can find that playback down below the like button as well. But other than that, if you do have any questions on this, we can go and chat in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace.